With Apple's September event only a few days away, everything from iPhones and iOS 12 to air power and budget MacBooks are either expected or rumored to be released. Let's go through everything that's basically been confirmed or rumored to be in the pipeline and whether we're likely to see them released at the event next week, within a couple of months, or sometime in 2019. First of all, there's a reason why many call it the iPhone event. New iPhones have been released at the September event for the past six years. There's also been quite a few leaks from Apple parts suppliers and even Apple itself. Just a few days ago, Apple accidentally leaked images of the apparent design of the 2018 iPhone, now sporting a new gold frame. 9to5Mac shared those images, saying the device will likely be called the iPhone XS. There have been a number of leaks pointing to a cheaper 6.1 inch LCD model as well, complete with a notch for Face ID authentication, just like the higher end OLED models. If you want to learn all the juicy details about Apple's 2018 iPhone, watch the video above. Since this is an iPhone focused event, we're not really likely to see a lot of other rumored Apple devices getting released until later, like a low cost MacBook refresh for example. There's been a bunch of rumors and leaks pointing to the release of a new MacBook or MacBook Air sometime this year. Apple recently updated their MacBook Pro line, but for some reason they chose to leave the cheaper MacBooks alone. Intel has recently revealed six new notebook oriented processors that would be perfect candidates to power Apple's upcoming MacBook refresh. And Intel themselves claimed notebooks packing those chips would be available starting this fall. It now makes perfect sense why Apple would wait to update the cheaper MacBooks, but will they get released to Apple's September event? There's a chance, but probably not, since the event is mostly focused on iPhones. Some of those new processors would be perfect for the Mac Mini, which is also rumored to be released sometime this fall. It hasn't seen an update since 2014, and it's beginning to become outdated compared to the rest of the market. This year would be perfect for a refresh, and it'll likely be released at the same time as the low-cost MacBook. The Apple Watch Series 4 has been rumored for quite a while, and the design was apparently leaked a few days ago, alongside the iPhone XS leak. It showed off a new shiny gold case that seems to match the leaked iPhone XS's gold band, hinting that they could be released at the same time. Since the Series 1, 2, and 3 Apple Watches were released at Apple's September events, it's almost guaranteed that the new Series 4 will be released on the 12th. Now this one may be completely obvious, but we're 100% guaranteed to see the release of macOS Mojave, iOS 12, tvOS 12, and watchOS 5 at Apple's upcoming event on the 12th. They'll also be available as free updates, but only if your hardware supports it. For example, the Series 0 Apple Watch won't support watchOS 5. Now onto some other hardware, like the iPad Pro. Back in June, Apple filed some new part numbers for 2018 MacBooks and iPads, which basically guarantee that Apple is readying those new devices for release. Further proof that Apple is working on a new iPad Pro with Face ID came in July when a developer found evidence of the Animoji framework being adapted to support an iPad sized screen. There were also some interesting changes in the iOS 12 beta that brought a lot of iPhone X inspired gestures to the iPad, hinting at a redesign that integrates Face ID. There has also been a lot of rumors and supply chain leaks hinting at a release in the fall time, and there may actually be a chance that it'll be released at the September event, since a major redesign with Face ID is coming this year. Last year, Apple released new iMacs alongside new MacBook Pros, which, to our surprise, didn't happen this year. It could be the case that Apple would skip out on iMac updates like they did in 2016, but there have been some analysts, like Ming-Chi Kuo, who believes Apple will release new iMacs this year. He also believes that the new model is predicted to have a significant display performance upgrade, which could mean the addition of Apple's ProMotion technology, which debuted on the 2017 iPad Pro. Since the event on the 12th is iPhone oriented, we likely won't see iMacs being released. There's a much higher chance that the new iMacs, low cost MacBooks and Mac mini will be released at the same time, and that seems far too much to add to a September event. Last year, Apple announced AirPower, a wireless charger that can charge multiple devices at the same time, regardless of how you place them. Seeing as it's already been a year since that announcement, a report from Digitimes claimed we'll likely see Apple announce a release date for the charger on the 12th. They also mentioned the price will range from around $161 to $193, but if my personal opinion means anything, I think it'll be priced at around $149. They also announced an optional new AirPods wireless charging case, which has yet to be released, but is almost guaranteed to release alongside the AirPower mat, since it was used to market it. AirPods 2.0 and Apple branded over-ear headphones have also been rumored to be in the pipeline. The AirPods will feature upgrades like
battery support and better water resistance, and the headphones are expected to feature premium audio technology as part of Apple's new push into the market. Earlier rumors pointed to a possible release this year, but most recent rumors are pushing those release dates into 2019, so don't wait on those devices. There's also been rumors of a new cheaper HomePod in the works, and the story's the same for its release schedule. Early rumors pointed to a 2018 release due to slow current HomePod sales, but recent rumors again point to a 2019 release, so definitely don't expect that at Apple's upcoming event. Finally, let's talk about the 2019 Mac Pro. Obviously, we're not expecting a release until 2019, but there is a chance that Apple will give us a sneak peek during that event on the 12th. To wrap it all up, definitely expect to see releases of the new iPhones, a new Apple Watch, software updates, and potentially the new AirPower Mat and AirPods case. There's a chance we'll see new iPad Pros, but they may end up being released sometime later this fall, perhaps alongside a low-cost MacBook, iMac, and Mac Mini. We'll be covering Apple's September 12th event, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our first look videos. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.